Madre Rosa says, Hola, Rosalinda, and then her smile fades. I leave the nun's table and walk through puddles. It's never been easy for me to just, you know, I'm not one of those people who's just all out there. And I, even though I have talked a lot about myself, I still tend to feel very, I think I'm very private, which is rather amusing at this point. I guess. Go! <laughs> now my voice might be a little clearer. The name of the piece is Adios. And I made the piece um, during the time that I was in the process of getting divorced. And so it it was a metaphor for um, saying goodbye to many parts of my life, and I think all of us have had to say goodbye to parts of our life, lives. But um, so it was a metaphor for me in that way. I went in 1981, and the earthquake. I thought that I might find some kinds of connection in this particular area where, there had, where the earthquake had occurred because my life was, felt like an earthquake at that point. And um, so that's how I happened to end up in Callejon, Callejon de Conchucos um, in Ancash, Peru. And Callejon de Conchucos means the um, valley of darkness. The nuns took me in because I left my guide. I was with a guide and I got, I was afraid that he was involved with the Shining Path and with uh, drug runners. And I, I don't know whether it was imagination or truth, I'll never know for sure. But I left him in this little village and I just got out of the car, the, the van in the morning and I, I went up to a woman and said, um, I'm with a guide and, I, and I'm afraid. And she said, go to see the bishop. And that was the beginning of this whole experience. The bishop, um, it's, it's, you know, there are layers and layers and it's more complex than that. I can't tell the whole thing now. But um, he uh, introduced me to Madre Rosa. They gave me a house and somebody to help me with my work. I ate with the nuns. I had this most, it was the greatest, biggest experience of my life, I would say. It was a phenomenal experience. The raised tombs of Peru suggested mm -hmm. the form of this piece. And um, each niche represented, mm -hmm. I had to imagine the person that might have been there. It was just an amazing thing that I saw. I was in a pickup truck and got out to photograph a little something, some kind of landscape, and walked around and saw this woman. And I spoke to her in Spanish and said, may I photograph you? And she said, yes. And that's, and I took a few pictures of her. And there she is. <laughs> So let me see. Um, well, Reservada is, uh, you know, we're all going to be in there someday. <laughs> That's reserved for you and for me. Capaz de regresar. The capacity to return, the ability to return. And I think, you know, that's my feeling about the fact that, as Thomas Wolfe said, you can't go home again. Uh, once you make a break, you can never go back to what you've left. It's always different. One of the uh, recordings was of a, a woman who was in the bus and in, a, in the hospital in, uh, in the, the village, um, and she was crying. Hello, 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 hello. You're being 
This photograph mm -hmm. is uh, a picture of Delina Salas. She was a, a she became blind uh, as an infant, and um, she was the church organist in the village where I stay. So she just happened to mention to me that she had a collection of dolls, and I asked to photograph her with her dolls because I had been um, photographing all kinds of dolls for a few years. This is Corazón de um, Ambivalencia, and an ambivalent heart. And uh, since this was really the period when I was coming to the, to the decision that uh, I was going to be divorced, and um, so that was ambivalent heart. And um, this was, a, you know, I, I got this, um, I found this in Peru, and uh, I guess I must have been 50 when I found it. I wanted to go to other places, and I wanted to understand, know and understand other lives. And I refused to be guilty about documenting those lives. And um, I did what I did. So now I have, a, I have a big body of work, and I like my body of work, and I hope that it uh, will be around and for other generations to, uh, to study it and learn whatever they can learn from it. Cantando, mira, sirva 